Hi, welcome to Torah Tuesdays. This week's Torah portion is Lech Lecha. In this week's Torah portion, Abram, who becomes Abraham, receives a call from God. Not that kind of call. Abram hears God's voice calling out to him, telling him to leave the land that he has known and go journey to a place that God will show him. And a good question to ask about this Torah portion is why does God choose Abram of all the people God could have selected to make this incredible journey and to become the father of the Jewish people? Why Abraham? The Torah doesn't tell us. There are a lot of rabbinic midrashim, stories that we tell about the stories in the Torah, that try to answer this question. One says this, why did God choose Abraham? This can be compared to a man who is journeying over many days and on his journey he sees a palace and the palace is on fire, it's all aflame. And the man says, is there not an owner of this palace? And from a window of the palace, the owner looks out and says, I am the owner. And the rabbis say this is, this is comparable to Abraham's situation, that he looks around the world and he sees that the world is not as it should be. The world is aflame. And Abraham asks, is there not an owner of this world? And God calls out to Abraham and says, I am the owner of this world. What does that teach us today? Perhaps it says to us that the beginnings of our history as a people began with this one individual, Abram, Abraham, who was willing to look not just at the beauty that exists in the world and let the beauty lead him to this question of wondering if there is a God who cares for all of that beauty, but is actually willing to look at the brokenness of this world and say, is there still not someone, some being, something greater than ourselves that cares for this world? And if so, then I have an obligation to care for this world as well. God calls out to Abram. Abraham responds to God. A sacred partnership begins. It is one of caring for one another and caring for this world. And that continues to this day. That is one of the lessons of our Torah portion this week. Thanks for joining us.